Hi, I'm Isabel from the upcoming. Hello, Lovely nice to speak to you today. Nice, nice to meet you. So, uh, congratulations on this fantastic film. So, uh, what was it about the kind of script when you got it? I thought, do you know what? I want to throw myself into this. Uh, Michael Winterbottom. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even read the script. <laughs> I mean, I read the script ultimately when I, when I wanted to do the job. No. But uh, when Michael Winterbottom asked you to be in a film, there's only one answer, right? No. Which is how much? <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about your role in this and how you kind of prepare for that? Yeah, I uh, play Ralph Cairns, who's the sort of head of the police um, at the beginning of the film and gets and has to deal with a lot of very difficult moral issues. He's obviously there to do a job, but at the same time has human relationships with people and understands that this is... He, I think Ralph really understands that... that people have different needs and he's there to sort of supply balance and try and make everything work but at the same time he has to represent the people he's got to represent and that forces him into difficult situations and ultimately obviously he gets really caught up in uh, in some bad stuff um, and it's amazing and I prepared Josh Hyams the producer basically gave me a big file all about Ralph Cairns and I read it and then we had an argument over whether I should have a moustache or not <laughs> that was about it <laughs> Are there any kind of highlights from filming? I know you were, I know that Tanvi was presented in, in Italy, filmed that. Yeah, yeah, Pune. Are there any sort of amazing standout moments for you? Well, my favourite moment, I mean, we had an amazing time in Pune. If someone says you want to go to Pune to make a, you know, make a film, you're like, yeah, great. What, Michael Winterbottom in Pune? Yeah, great. I was just thinking ice creams. I mean, I had ice creams every day. I had like, I mean, I, know, I mainline gelato. You don't need to know that. But um, yeah, I, I had a thing where I got blown up. Oh, well, spoiler. <laughs> I wrecked it. So uh, it was a really fun thing to do. And I was sort of, and the, Josh, the producer, was really laughing at me because he was like, I've been wanting to blow you up for years. And I saw my severed leg, you know, my suit trousers and my shoe, like blood everywhere. And I, we were laughing about this severed leg. But then later on, we were filming another explosion scene and there were body parts everywhere. And I was like, that's my leg. <laughs> what? what was that? That's my leg. So, you know, I've got versatile legs, if nothing else. Um, and obviously, 15 years in the making, real political kind of moments there, obviously very timely at the moment. Uh, yeah. what's going on. So what do you think are some of the kind of key themes that viewers will take away? I don't know. I think, um, for me, look, this, this is a running saw that's been going on for 80 years, 70, 80 years. And obviously it's flared up right now. I think this is a complicated film about complicated issues and mostly about the fact that there are humans at the heart of these issues, like where the political meets the human, right? And, and I feel like, I hope when people come and see this film, they'll see an intelligent, engaging, exciting story of real people. And then politically, morally, they can take from that whatever they, whatever they feel is the right thing. Thank you very much for speaking to me. My pleasure. Enjoy.